Woo! All right. Uh, let's get into this second vote. Oh, is this where you got the uh, Phoenix clip? This I game? I think so. It might be. Okay. That's good. Um, but Not too sure? Yeah. I, in hindsight, I think it's Phoenix here. is terrible on this map. Yeah, I'm glad that you called it out. Yeah, Phoenix is pretty ass on this map. Yeah. I think when I do play them, I'm like fumbling for my abilities. There's no more support. So you, you use your flash. One more. That was well. good. Yeah, take your time. See? That's great. Yeah. That, that's how you play the pistol in this game. But yeah, you'll notice that you actually... um. You so in this fight you do the same thing. You kind of sit down into your fight. No, you can't. You can't do that in this mm -hmm. game. Definitely not, because you get punished right away. Like CSGO with a pistol. Habit. CSGO habit. Yeah, CSGO super CSGO, CSGO habit. habit. Yeah, we gotta. That's like one of the habits you have to break, though. Yeah, it doesn't really it doesn't matter. matter. Yeah. One enemy remaining. Okay, so here in this situation you played it like a pistol again. But granted, your aim is really good, so it doesn't matter. Or you played it like a rifle. Yeah. But again, your aim is really good, so it doesn't matter. One of the things you could have done for yourself is uh, if you knew that they were there, so you flash, that's good. Throwing a molly to get yourself closer, right? So mm -hmm. they can't they can't peek that molly. Getting closer and then playing to your character's advantage, right? So it's like you right. just wide swing that. All right. Fault. Oh brother! I'm debating. Should I flash? I'm like yeah, whatever. <laughs> I mean, I, I I would still flash in that situation. What? On here. But here you can you can run it back for sure. Like you need to use your ulti a, a little bit more aggressively. Yeah. Like using your utility a little, a little bit more. Yeah. Um, don't talk about that molly. I thought. It was I, mean, I mean the molly. No. The, so way the way that the molly works is that it goes curves and then it goes straight down. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. That actually sucks. Like, there's two of them. So here it's like getting aggressive with your utility is super important. Uh, Phoenix is one of those characters that's that needs to and thrives like in close combat. That's why the Phantom mm -hmm. is actually much better on this character. Let's see. Actually, the the one thing I want to see is how long you held this ulti for. <laughs> Couple rounds actually. You used it yeah, eight rounds okay. in. I did use it. Okay, okay. use it eight rounds in, but you had it. You granted you had it at the fifth. <laughs> yeah. So this ulti is like one of those ones you have to abuse because it's it's six, and the mindset you should have is like, think about it this way: if you hold your ulti, what's the point of holding it? Because you could have built another one in that time. Yeah. Right. So it's like you gotta use your this ulti is like one of ones you gotta use off the rip. Like I use it whenever you have an advantage. Houses. Okay. So here, this was cleared actually already for you. He's pushing us, cat. Oh, and your viper's better. And your viper's better. Your viper's just better. Okay. Yep. Last two on side. Left to the right to the left. Hit him dead. So low, you guys. Oh shoot. Oh no. Don't. <laughs> there's there's no way you lose this round like this. Oh uh, yeah, it happens. It happens. And the Viper put a Molly on the bomb. Them. Yeah, just for safe yeah. measure. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, you got it. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, Unfortunate. It's just your pacing. You you know what I mean? Just up, mm -hmm. upping your pace in the situation. Because it's. I think you were super scared of Hallway for a very, very long time when Hallway was actually clear. And you're, okay. granted, your teammate was actually, your team was actually at the end of Hallway already. I think you have a lot of confidence to be able to up your pace on your own anyways and take engagements. I don't think you should be scared. I think you're scared because I don't. I think you just don't want the pressure of on your other like friends when you're playing with them for them to lose the round. I feel like yeah. I feel like that's how you play because it's like you know you're good, so then that way you play, kind of semi baiting your team. But if yeah. you start going in together and then helping support each other in that way, because it's not like CS:GO where you each all have a flash and a smoke. Mm -hmm. It's like you all have different utilities that are that are helpful to each other. For example, out of all the characters, you're the only one with a flash, right? Two of you have mollies, yeah. two of you have smokes, or three of them have smokes. One has a heal and a slow. But like you don't have a smoke for yourself, right? You don't have that ability. So it's like you gotta you gotta play to the advantage of like having each and every single one of your like your teammates together. In this situation where your Viper was going in, right? Playing playing to this advantage. So going faster and then either making noise for your Viper, so then they turn around and then makes those kills easier. But also just like from here, it's like going in W key in, right? So here, like the pace that you're playing with the run it back, this is how you should be playing regardless. Okay. Right? Last but run it back should give you this pace even more. Like it should be even faster than this with the run it back, right? See, because you still kind of play this very methodical and slow. But here, you're, you know that you have to go faster because now it's like beeping, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, and then you, you, you still choose to slow down. Like you really, we don't really have the ability to slow down in this time. Last player standing. <laughs> Right, because we're now we're out of time. 
I don't feel like you lack confidence within yourself. I think like what I was saying earlier, I think you're just scared to die because you know that you're good and it's going to be harder for your friends to clutch up if you're not alive. I think I do feel that way. <laughs> what happened? Oh, oh, there's, oh, there's wall. What the fuck? Yeah. Okay. I think this wall kind of screws us. Oh my God. Oh my God. A little. Flash. Oh yeah, I whiffed her too. Oh no. It's not that- Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, how is she there? I don't think you whiffed there. I think the pacing is good. It's just... The way that he took that fight and like kind of jumped away, like that was what's going on. I know it's not like an aim check, but it's like... Yeah, it is definitely- With that. A, that is true. It is abilities and stuff, it's like even weirder. This is the this is the map you can't play like CSGO. So yeah. what you want to do is because it's such a long range map, you use your utility to stall out. That that's that's the way that you play this this map specifically. Okay. Is that you want to yeah. use your utility as a defender, you want to use your utility to stall. And as an attacker, you want to use your utility to get yourself in. Okay. Oh, in this situation, you could have just right clicked. Just block burst. That's also filthy though. I yeah. But she would have yeah. died like instantly and you wouldn't have got gotten dinged. Yeah. Oh, oh, you want you? You're about to flash your friend. Yeah, she she held it. Uh, oh Jesus! Oh Jeebus! Now is your first gun round. This is this is the important one. Let's see. Okay, this is this one's important. This round this round matters. This is the one that you actually have to win because this will this will set the game tempo. Okay, thank God that you take the orb. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, please take the orb. Flashing. Okay, thank you! Okay. See, I love this! You clear the corners by just shooting it! Like, thank you! Gosh! Yeah. No. Nice, oh, thank you, thank you. I flashed myself up. That's fine. Unfortunately. Look That's up. fine, but... Oh! 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 oh my... She's on me! Yeah. <laughs> I think I barely see her head in shit smoke. You, you do. There's a split second. There, uh, that's part of her. Yeah. Ah, there she is. It's a very, very split second. And granted, I actually didn't even catch that. So you, for you yeah. catching that, that's good. <laughs> I didn't even catch that. Yo, she's on me. And then she Ferraris me. And then, yeah, she Ferraris you. Need to uh, invest in really weird things. Post oh, you saw him, you saw him. Oh, nice yeah. jiggle peek. Oh, wow. I tell them to peek, but they're just a set blade. What the fuck is the smoke? Nice, nice jump peek. That was nice. See, like you're mechanically really gifted. Like you're really good. I just think that you, you, you hold yourself back. Like you, you. The only thing that's holding yourself back is yourself, actually. I, I can tell by, by watching you. All it really is is like, just fixing, fixing the confidence thing, and then also just like getting yourself in there and then playing to your advantage, which is like you're good. But can't tilt off that. Stuff. Okay, you just. So here, okay, oh, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. This, okay, so this is really good. So this pacing that you're playing here, like I think you need the mines. So this is how fast you should be playing on attack, which is really good. Like with running back, this is how aggressive you need to be playing. Backside. But in general, so here, this is good. Like on top of you being super methodical, like you're still, like you, you played at such a fast pace and look at the confidence that you instilled in your team by just popping this ulti and playing at that pace. This mm -hmm. is this is exactly how a duelist and the duelist role should be playing. That's why I don't like it when you're rain like when rain is lurking and stuff like that. Like you can have smart executions where it's like, okay, let's play a little bit slower. Okay, let's hit let's hit it now and then you you hit, right? But yeah. this is how you should be playing a duelist. Like look at your team now. Every single one of your team members is in. Right. This is the this is the tempo, this is the pacing that you I would say like with the running back, how you should play, and then you should play just a like a step down, like a like a like a tempo down, when you don't have running back. 100%. No one had bomb. Yep. Oh my god. Well, the duelist god, has to get it for some reason. Sag. Oh whoa! It's a great reaction time too. Oh, and then I just you hold it because like, yeah, you just yeah, because that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. down A. Okay, so Reyna's on the staircase. Now she's down, dropped. Oh, you saw one. Yeah, you hit her twice. Yeah. Okay, I think you pop off here, don't you? Please tell me you pop off here. No, not this round, unfortunately. I'm like trying to bait for 1v1s, but they all swing at the same time. Yeah, the dash. Yeah, the, the, dash. the dash. The dash was the thing that fucked you up. That dash is a priority though. Like it's good that you looked at it though. That was the first one that I would have looked at too. So now let's go to the uh near the end. So it you guys bring it back. 
Okay, so yeah, your jet just kind of. Let's go A. Only one yeah. Way. Your jet just kind of pops off. Out, you get shot in the asshole, and then. Okay, your spike got dropped mid. Oh yeah, this was kind of stuff stuff round too. Uh, okay. But it's okay. Oh, you pick up yeah. the up. Oh yeah, I got something down there. So this game, this game, uh, one thing is that it's actually a lot easier to op if you if you let it cock back. And uh, a couple yeah. things that I would suggest is that since your jet's already flanking her, just firewall and pick up the ball. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. So just having that mindset to get the bomb down and then like just mm -hmm. play for the win rather than for the kills and getting greedy. For the kill. Yeah. <laughs> I was rotating out and I stay just in case. To re yeah, but that's fine. Toss, to toss, anchor, toss, 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 yeah. to anchor, that's fine. Help, help. Like I think that's totally fine. And you drop shoot, yeah, and then yeah, there you go. I I think I found out what it is too. I think the way that you play, you try to utilize long range engagement engagements, but I feel like you'd be a way better close range like brawler, mm -hmm. just by the way that you play. Like mid to mid to close range. So for example, instead of playing back here, why don't you play like pyramids, right? Like getting yeah. getting closer and putting yourself in the, a better position for that kind of sense, right? Instead of playing far back or playing closer positions, like either you push up mid into the elbow area here. Like, mm -hmm. so for example, you push yourself up into here and you play this or like you play, you walk up, you play into this angle or you play into this angle or even play B up close kind of thing or like within here. And I noticed this within your Ascent games too, is that you play, you play, very very far back from your engagements but i think that that's not playing to your strong suit because you are a good aimer but i think you're best suited for playing the mid to close range fights because you're really good like your 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 reaction time is really good so you can flick to people really really easily i think that is actually how you're going to better your defense side you can also be playing in such a way where it's like you get a pick and then you fall off and then you can start playing a little bit more back that way so it's like you you play it in stages where it's like you play close okay. try to play a pick um, but you're also kind of playing in a way where you're still trying to stay alive because you know that you're the better player and then you play in stages once you get a pick you fall you start playing backwards more playing back playing back That's fine. Yeah, so this is fine getting the orb. That's fine. Yeah, and then I hope okay Let's see you're waiting for her to wall because you know she walls so you flash and then you're in Yeah, clear it. Yeah, okay. I like it. I like it So here what I would do is uh you need to start so obviously this is like how you would play CSGO. It's like clear the site, right? So you gotta yeah. you gotta make sure you clear the site in stages. So you already know up close is cleared because you can see you, door. your brim is kind of like right. in a weird position, right? Mm -hmm. And then from here it's like playing to the to the site, right? There's a you're kind of yeah. clustered. Yeah. I click. think here it's like how you say I play uh to survive. Mm -hmm. So I can clutch up at the Yeah, and, and this is alive. Yeah. Don't do this. Play for play for your play for your specific strength because when you do this, you limit yourself. Yeah. You really limit yourself because like you're really trying to stay alive. It's the whole squad. It's all four. Yeah. So here I was just trying to stay alive because I have to calm down. Playing off you, cat. Trying to win the round. That's the best way to win it. Pretty patient. Nah. Nice. This is why I'm saying you need to start playing at the. Medium medium range engagements because look at this. These are all medium range engagements and this is literally where you where you shrine the most get rid of the mindset trying to play You want to stay alive because you need to clutch up get rid of that because uh -huh. that puts okay. way too much mental pressure on yourself Yeah, way too much. You don't need that. I need you to play confident and if you start playing confident You'll you'll notice you'll start popping off a lot more I think we actually found out what what is actually stopping you from improving. It's a you're you are limiting yourself You have a you literally put a limiter on yourself all right. So it's time to remove that limiter. Yeah.